So we got a call for a buggy that is broke down on a trail called Hanging Tree near Ephraim. Actually, this is somebody a lot of you know. This is Hillbilly's Bronx star. Robbie called me and said Hillbilly took it up there and beat it to death, and we've got to go get it. It's a beautiful morning, like 65 degrees, clear and sunny. Going to warm up today. Got an early start, like 6 a.m., so we should get there and for lunch. We could. We brought our lunches again. So this is back-to-back. -back. Yesterday we were out on the Arizona Strip. Why are we eating it? Well, it kills tapeworms and pinworms. I didn't have any worms. And hookworms. Well, I didn't know that. Today we're in northern Utah, north central Utah. Yeah. I think there's a pin that says this is the geometric center of Utah, right next to where we're going to be. Oh, nice. We got Greg back there. He's going to be swinging the camera again. Yeah, we've got an opportunity to explore a great part of Utah that I've not seen before. I am really excited about this trail. I've heard about this trail. I know that it's supposed to be really gnarly, obstacle after obstacle, but I have not been on it so looking forward to that and we get to eat lunch on the trail again lizzie i didn't bring a peanut butter and jam sandwich this time i brought leftover rice and teriyaki chicken it's delicious so the next stop is robbie's shop we're going to be picking him up um, they're going to be offering support for today's events it's going to be a good time we'll get him out all right we are here at Layton auto body in ephraim utah robbie is supposed to be here getting ready for us but I just texted him and he said that he's busy doing other stuff that is so Robbie I think I'm just gonna block this street because I got no other choice hey there's Robbie hey kids is that the A team good job awesome how are you good oh, that's for you well I heard you done it good it done itself good. Yeah, and he's not so, even going with to get it. So what's wrong with it? I never even... No steering. No steering, no transfer case. So no four-wheel drive and no steering. Okay, so there's no drive. No, there is drive. Just there's two-wheel. two-wheel. Oh. oh. So it has rear-wheel drive. That'll help. Yeah, but no steering and no four-wheel drive. It would have steering sometimes, inconveniently. And it'd go whatever direction it wanted. Is it full hydro? No. no. That's the problem. It's, it's just normal steering. This is what finally stopped us. Once it blew that out, then we had nothing. It blew it out because the power strength pump and gearbox got so hot when I poured water on it, it was gone instantly. Boiled it off. Okay, so you so cooked it. That's the new line. Smoke. We'll put that on, put some fluid in it, and at least try to have a tiny bit of assist. Yeah. Well, we can always just pick it up. There's a couple spots yeah. that well, there's you're not going to be able to pick it up. You want to let it down on. and winch it. Everybody always says that. Well, I, I hope you don't have to. It's like a 20-foot waterfall with water running down it, and it's like it's this. A, it's such a fun trail. But we don't know if we're going up or down. But or once we, we get it, are we gonna, up? That's what we're going to figure out once we get yeah. there. It'll be a long day coming back down. Yeah. Because it's three quarters Just without of the way knowing up. anything, I would say that. Well, How are the brakes? Do the brakes work? Brakes work phenomenally. Oh, great. Uh -huh. All right, so we're heading up here to the trailhead. Robbie's showing us the way he's got his Can-Am. I've heard stories about Can-Ams and Razors flipping on this trail all the time. Like, it's supposed to be really aggressive. I'm a little bit nervous. A lot of you guys don't know this, but on top of being cheap and lazy, I am also a big chicken. And maybe that's why I'm a chicken, too. Got the butterflies. Do you? Yeah. Well, you're it's, gonna... it's just me, my crew, Robbie's crew, and the wrecker going up that canyon to rescue something broken and it's a bad one it's a baddie huh it's a baddie come look at this Robbie this thing has an interesting situation I'm just heating all this up so bad these wires are just blasted hot they're just too just close to them headers so this morning I got up early and I wrapped this all up with cheap tin foil <laughs> We're gonna see if it makes it. So you need some serious heat shields. Yeah. So I'm gonna. We're gonna do that. These aren't the. These headers aren't in their final form. We'll see how this goes. I'm a little bit proud of that. That it look, looks factory to me. That looks like a delicious tinfoil dinner. Looks like dinner's on the record tonight. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things just isn't the same. Now it's time to play our game. We're gonna call it 
Tipped over tree trail. I've never been on a trail like this. Yeah, it's pretty unique. So Tom and I were just jabbering away. I hit this rock at an incredible rate of speed and we did a terrible snake bite to this tire. We got a hole right there and a hole right there. And all the air went out. So the plan right now is to send a razor back to town to get a tube, a couple of patches and then we'll inside there. While you're doing that, I'm gonna try to get this ring out off get the beadlock out of there just be ready for when you're back perfect well i've done it good this time hey. i was i was picking on hillbilly you know what it makes it funner now we have an adventure at least we have food and water and good yes. company some of our good companies leaving dang it <laughs> i think we want the rock to oh, one, that, one that rock about right there okay. Find one that may slip down in there. Pretty good. Oh, we'll try that one more time. That was a lucky one. This time, I'm gonna do it good. Okay. It's getting some dirt in there, but what are we gonna do about it? There's nothing we can do. This is some real caveman stuff right here. Oh, here it goes. I kind of want to keep this kind of clean. Okay. So set it, set it like this on top of that back wheel. Of course, we don't have a shovel. Of course. Okay. That was so stupid to fly up there like that. We were just gabbing, not paying attention, throttle to the floor. So then this has to come out like this. And I hope we can do it. Kind of spin out of there, but. All right. All right, we got this all prepared. We got it taken apart. We had to use rocks and sticks and. It was pretty brutal, but it came apart. So we're just waiting for them to get back with the parts that we think will get us out of here. So we had us some lunch, we're sitting in the shade, drinking some Gatorade, not a sponsor. No, not a sponsor. Tom's sleeping on the job. We went to Napa and cleared them out of stuff. We have like five different tubes. I brought a grinder, we got a scraper, we have all Kay. the juices. Give me the, give me the grinder the and we'll all just start doing this. We'll get this boot on. Let's what kind of valve stems on the tube? This one looks like the bad one, but it's not. Well, it's bad. It's going sideways through the cord. It doesn't, yeah, but it doesn't go all the way through on the inside. This That's other good. one does. Is the big one going to get both of them at once? Mm. Man, mm. this big one is big. Put it on. Go big. Go big or go home. The blue area is not in a whole bunch bigger than that path. So we've got to be pretty accurate with it. A little bit lower. Where's that other path, that small one? He wants to get on the outside. Okay, let's put a tiny bit of air in that tube, not much. Stuff it in there first. Maybe we put the top on first and then bring it down. These are pretty straight, they have almost no taper, so if they're crooked, they're too big to fit. Yeah, let's, get, let's put just a tiny bit more air in it. Roll it a little bit more. Well, there's one under the, in the middle. So, there's a theory that we'll be able to pop this tire on the bead with the proper, with a little bit of air thing. But we can't go all the way shut with it because the tire will be pinched in it. Okay, you are going to have to feed the hose in. Get a screwdriver to hold it on. That's the plan. If you push it straight in, it'll go it straight in. It won't go straight in because oh. I've got a rotor. 
Oh. oh, we were talking about not putting rotors on this too. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. You're close. Ah. Okay. Here, where's something that I can go from this? Oh. Needle those pliers? Dude, you, you were on. If I had needle those pliers, I'd have been there. Okay, put it put it back where it was. In the bug Right? Well, pull okay. it your way. Okay, don't move. Back to this. Okay. Don't move it, Robbie. Okay, you're oh, on. Oh, we were on. We had it. Okay, you're on. We're airing up. I'm not moving my hand until we have pressure in it. Do you have the valve stem keeper thingy? I tightened it up. Oh, it is tight. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, because I couldn't see it. Well, I didn't realize well, you were messing around. I was tightening it up. Okay. okay, Tom, I need you to kick this tire. <laughs> what size was this too? Kick, kick lightly. I don't know, 20 by something huge. It was, a monster, it was a monster oh, truck tube, 47.5, 645 Okay. Is this getting anything in it? Well, yeah. let's go with it. The only way the air has to escape out of this tire is around this valve stem. Yep. Because it's completely sealed. So that's where that air is coming from. Oh, <laughs> okay, put it back on. Let's he plugged it. it. Keep From the other side. I sure hope that's the sound of residual air. <laughs> yeah. Is this the one that had the cut in it already? Yeah, it has a cut. I think I purposely mounted the spare for the left or for the right hand side because of that reason. This is the tire that gets it. Oh, so it's mounted on a wheel. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's ready to go. Oh, that's smart. But with as good of a trail repair as this is, you'll never need the spare now. No. Because this is such a quality repair. All right, with the help of all these good people, look at how many of them came to help us. We were able to get this tire back on the wheel. I feel like it's in good shape. Yeah, it's holding air. It looks good. You got more air in it now than you had before. So Yeah, we lost the beadlock, so we compensated with more air. And we're going to drive smarter, not harder. So we are back on the trail. That was a long delay there as we repaired that tire. And we've just started. And this thing is pretty gnarly right off the get-go. Giant rocks, boulders, really twisty, and it's tight. It's gonna be a challenge for the record to get through here. Once bitten, twice shy. Definitely uh, turning up the caution. Trails become increasingly boring as we as we do that. not popping tires I feel like we're dominating the trail now, I'm still pretty nervous about popping tires but we're doing it it's working it's pretty amazing driving for a chicken <laughs> yeah I'm a tough chicken I was talking to Nick Shaw and he told me that beyond a shade of doubt this is the largest vehicle to ever go through hanging tree and he's never seen a wrecker here so that might be a little bit of, of uh, evidence for this actually being the world's largest off-road record. This is definitely a trail for narrow vehicles. Without the rear stair, there's no way we would be getting through here. Yeah, we're using the rear stair. There ain't no question about that. Um, you see how sketchy this is? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to capture the sketch. It's just, it was bad. Loose ground. <laughs> it was really bad. It really didn't oh. look tippy at all from that side. Yeah? None You're just looking there. down into this waterfall. Yeah. That's crazy. I think that's why they call us the hanging tree because you typically would tie a rope off to that tree to drive around that. Oh my goodness. Oh, look what's in the bushes here. There it is. Okay, this is where the plan stops and the work begins. Agreed. That yeah, was. We'll let's pull it up here. If we can get steering back, which I don't, I don't. There's something wrong. Yeah. Oh yeah. Steering box is broke. Power steering pump's junk. We're gonna put a line on it and fill it full of fluid. So at least if it decides to have anything. Yeah. Put the hose on. Let's see what it does. Okay. That's a 
first Badlands winch I've ever had, and it literally lifted the back tires off and was pivoting on one tire. Tell me what's moving. You're moving side to side a little bit. You don't have a ton of triangulation. I don't see anything nope. broken. Okay. So we need two of these. Okay, you're on. We'll pick it up and then we'll figure out the cross. Yeah. So I think last time we went around here and then um, cross and then cross them with those long ones. I gotta pull this forward so that it's not tight. So yeah, the, the biggest shortcoming of this wrecker is that it's just not done yet. <laughs> Do we want to chain this axle up? Do you think it's worth it? Let's just see how it goes. Yeah, see what it does. If it becomes a problem, we'll, we'll change it. All right, we're all hooked up here and it's time to head on out of here. We're just gonna take it easy. That was crazy steep climb. I was worried about the boom hitting it, but Bronx Star's not got a regular hood, so not too big a deal. Yeah. I'd like to point out that the wrecker's doing exactly what we designed it to do. It's just walking through here. It's going good. That one's crazy, but they say that's not the big one. There's a bigger one up here. That was awesome. I, man, I just, this is, I love this truck. Right up. That was unbelievable. We almost had it. We almost had it. I guess the Bronx Star died, which is understandable. It was standing straight up like this. I probably ran out of fuel. Holy smokes. This is a cool trail. Rob, you can't tell anybody about this trail. I know, because everybody will want to show up. Good job. That was so awesome. So is that the last big obstacle? So now we just have to get out of a mud hole. So okay, but yeah, we're basically at the top. 54 inch tires, so they so kind of help. You'll dig down to the base and get through it. Yeah. Woo. That was cool. That was awesome. It's funny because when this is empty, like the trail was, out of, yeah, it was difficult. 
hook that onto it, and it's kind of the same. <laughs> it's just, well, no, it just it's goes. It's just doing, the record does record stuff. It's doing its job, and it's doing it well. Man. And we, that pre-trail trail repair. Oh, yeah. How's that that? Let's go look. I would say A plus for sidewall repair. Look, it's down there. That's holding together. We got our, <laughs> yeah. our hobo dinners in there. And there's a big difference in the temperature of the floorboard. So we know, so it works. Here, Liz, let me slap you around. So we know that we can fix the heat yeah. problem. That's we did it with, with tin foil, so we yeah. can probably do it with some stainless steel and some uh, heat wrap. I just found some trail damage right here. Exhaust tip. It's starting to get a little rainy on us. We don't have any windshield wipers. Oh, we actually have wipers. We have no way to make them white. Yeah, the windshield wiper motor is in a bag back in the shop. But we have a windshield. They don't even have a windshield. Oh. How you doing, Greg? spot up in here. I would like to retire. That's where it was. Yeah. That was a long drive. That's where it always ends up too. So that, that's yeah. got all the jobs on it right now. So every few months that needs to get tied, cut and tied back. Yeah, and that'll keep this in top shape. So was it a very struggling trail for this? Oh man, no. Of course not. <laughs> We almost climbed the last waterfall. I had the front wheels completely up oh. over, but they said I didn't have my lockers on. And it, and I stalled that out right, right as he was topping it. And, and then we shot back. down there like a bobsled. How do you think it made me feel seeing this thing coming at me? <laughs> excited? We, yeah, excited. Okay. Look at this so tire. Billy. Very young. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> so Matt did his thing again today. He was like, he just has this attitude that I've been doing so much with so little for so long that today I feel like I can do anything with nothing. And he did it. He changed out this tire, or he took it apart, patched that thing from the inside out, pulled out the beadlock, put it back together with a socket and a pile of rocks. The guy's impressive, man. You gotta appreciate that. I worked in a tire shop for a lot of years when I was younger and I patched and plugged a lot of tires, but I have never seen it done with so few tools. That was pretty impressive. Today we made the impossible possible. Again. Thanks for watching. On the road again. We got Hillabilly's Bronco on the road again. Just can't wait to give it back to my friend. And I can't wait to get on the road again. Hillabilly broke his rig. He took it up to hanging tree to dig. He broke his drive shaft and uh, almost everything else. He broke his drive shaft like a little twig. We can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs>